Wow, it's 68 out here this morning and the humidity's dropped. It's going to be a pleasant day to uh, go for our morning walk. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. We're up at our normal Monday dawn go to work time. And I have put food out for the kitties. Um, they're all here. But uh, Morris wasn't super hungry this morning. And him and Tux were having a little talk when I came outside. He seems fine. I checked him over, Morris. And Tux had sticky stuff on him that I had to get out of his fur. So I don't know what they were into. I don't know if it was... I don't know what it was. <laughs> Um, my tux is over here somewhere now. He was chasing Gray. Let me go get the guys on the front porch fed before they disown me for taking too long. Poor Panther went and hid by the gas grill. And why would he have done that? He would have done that because... <clears throat> you. You can't be up here while Panther's eating breakfast. You make him too scared to eat. Hey, Gray. Did Tux chase you up top? You gonna go move on your own? Well, that's Hey, Tux, good. you doing okay? It's just Marty over here. Tux does not get as mad at Marty as he does at Morris. I can't really tell you exactly why he tolerates one better than the other, but he just does. It's walk time. Michelle says, Connor started school today. Math class. He's in math class. Math class is at 7.40 a.m. <sighs> Yeah, and he's middle school. He's seventh grade. I, I just, and it's virtual. Why are we making these kids get on at 740? That's just like, yeah. Yeah, this is like a custom order weather morning here, Donnie. Yeah, it's not bad enough. It's not bad. I hope every day will be this nice for the rest of the summer. <laughs> Probably not, although I think for the next five days we are in a below average temperature cycle. I'll take it. Definitely take it. We're having a cool day on the second day of August. I like it. Because August here, I mean, it, uh, today's video title, Hazy, Hot, and Humid. I mean, that's pretty much August in North Carolina. That's what you expect the majority of the days. So, it is what it is. You're all happy today. I'm happier. Got yeah. a breeze. It's not really hot. Humidity is manageable. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's like, um, I have to say, it's not bad being out here this morning. Of course, then we have the wine of the weed eater. Yeah. 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 That gas blower is nowhere near as effective as our ego blower, and it's four times the noise, and the noise is really irritating me. I get it that they're out here making things look pretty before the kids come to the splash pad today though. I do get that they don't want to be doing that while the kids, while it's open and it opens at 10. But come on, let's buy some electric blowers, save some ears. My watch will let me know that that was too loud for my ears when I go and I look at my health for the day. It will have picked up on those decibels. Wow, there's another rat snake coming across the trail. Does not look quite as big as the one from yesterday. Hey, buddy, good morning. Yep. See you in a few minutes. Yep, you betcha. All Got right. Lots of traffic this morning. Yeah, that was a big dumpster, garbage dumpster collector thing that just rolled past. I suspect we made pretty good time. They were both feeling good, not sluggish today. Doesn't really matter, right? Anyway, we was out there doing our thing, having our morning talk. I fully think that um, couples should have some um, time together each day where conversation doesn't have to happen, but can happen. That it supports a healthy relationship because we never know exactly what we're going to talk about out there. But I guarantee you, if Dom was in his office from, you know, the time he got up till dinner time, then I'm cooking and shuffling Johnny to Taekwondo. 
Don's exhausted and taking a nap. Then I come settle down for the night after dinner and I take a nap. Now there's very little conversation that would happen on those days. But us being out here in the morning for what amounts to close to an hour together with no agenda that we, you know, talk about a whole bunch of stuff. We talk about everything, you know. Yesterday there was a good bit, I relayed a good bit of the information from the open house at St. Augustine's to Don about what to expect this coming year since he was working and in a perfect world he would have come with us and would have wanted to come with us but was working. So now he's all filled in. Should he have to go pick Johnny up one day or under, hear me and Johnny talking and he's filled in on what he might be over here, you know, what might be said. It's just, you know, some of the rules of the campus and such. We talk about schedule for the coming week. We talk about the diet video that we watched a little bit yesterday. We watched a cardiologist that's more in tune with no statins and glucose, uh, your blood sugar, your hyperinsulinemia, your diabetes being the cause of, oh, pretty much everything that will go wrong with you. You know, as a cancer patient, it's really important for me to do better than I was doing, even though I had cut out processed food and most sugars, it's still, you know, I've improved it a bit and that's good for me. Keep Don healthy, keep me from getting sick again. And, uh, you know, we just talk about everything. So that time spent together, like I said, no agenda, no requirements, no nothing. It allows things to unfold naturally in a way that I think is really good for us. So I'm pleased that we have this time in the morning to exercise and it's not just for the exercise. Johnny should be up when I get back to the cows. He's very mature and decided he was gonna get up at 8.30 today which is two hours ahead of his summer alarm. Um, he did a good job all summer of not getting off, um, not getting off a schedule too far, too far into a summer schedule, but still enjoying summer. But he wanted to start earlier today, so 5.30, well, it'll be six for him on Wednesday is not uh, too much of a hardship. Yeah, I'm watching the hornets come and go. Um, I'm just avoiding this area really all I can do. Don't want to put down anything dangerous to the cats. Don't want Don, me, or Johnny to get bit. Um, don't want to damage my flowers at the peak of them looking good. So just, I just stay away from there. I'm down here taking butterfly pictures and the girls have followed me to the bridge for a few minutes of sunshine. Boy, does it look hazy up toward the house. The other day when I was cleaning up the kitchen, I found the second backup glass screen protector for Johnny's phone. And I've been promised him I would put the new one on. This one has saved his real glass, but it has a bunch of cracks. So I figured for the first day of school, it really is as simple as pry up one corner and slide a credit card through the glass. Are you helping? Are you helping? You gonna do it for me? Hi. I'm in Ruby. It's noonish. I'm headed to Walmart. Um, I got the glass off of Johnny's phone, got everything cleaned up. And then the piece of glass that I found was for a Galaxy 8 Plus, not a Galaxy 8. So it's too big. And that is a phone with a curved glass. So it would be problematic to put on, I think, um, your standard flat uh, plastic adhesive screen protector. So anyway, I'm headed to Walmart in the hopes that they might have an 8 or, or one that will work with an 8 uh, so that I can get a protector back on his phone. Sometimes that's just what happens when you try to do something nice. It just backfires on you. I should have held it over top of the phone first before I pulled off the other glass and... Live and learn, live and learn. Small mistake though, small mistake. Single digit, small mistake, less than an hour, and just go fix it. Make it right. I'll go to Sprint or Verizon if I have to. I'll eventually get to uh, 
Walmart, but right now I'm at South Park playing a little more Pokemon Go. And wow, there are some cars here today. I don't know what's going on, but there's quite a few people. Maybe just the, um, I don't know, fitness center reopened. It's a lot of cars. Wow, I'm on uh, the side street leading to Emmanuel Holiness and um, they're starting to renovate that house. I think it's awesome. I think it's totally awesome. I hadn't noticed, but Emmanuel Holiness has, um, the parking lot's been paved and painted. They did a nice job. Train tracks here by Walmart has some really nice shiny green painted cargo cars on them today. Huh. Wonder what that's all about. The building is coming along here at Walmart. Um, but I'll be glad when it's done and hopefully that's before Black Friday shopping season cranks up over here. I'm not sure what they're putting in over there, but they're putting in something. Parking lot's pretty busy. Several construction vehicles, a tractor trailer. It's not a lot of empty spaces, which is one of the reasons why them putting in that building over there. It stays pretty crowded. Oh wow, that makes me wish I had my big camera. took some decent pictures with the vlogging camera I think surely there will be at least one I'm happy with. Well Walmart's it's done a great job of resetting the Hot Wheels cars so that the little kids can actually see them better. So what they did is they moved the one shelf up and that way moved the wall hangings down so that, that's an improvement for sure. I was noticing this Top Gun Maverick on it but I noticed that Tom Cruise didn't really give his photo. <laughs> to this, to tell the me what happened with COVID that caused there to be no storage containers at Walmart. This whole case has iPhone glass and iPhone cases all the way back to like seven, but no Galaxy phone stuff. Over here by Home Depot, that house that used to be lived in, it's now a business. There's one of my buddies. Hi. I have lots of uh, help near the back door for dinner. That stripe on the step. Marty here on the bench. Morris was by a few minutes ago to eat. It's the dogs of UPS and the cats of Amazon. <laughs> Some of our subscribe and save stuff, monthly stuff came today and Mittens loves a box. Hey Mitty Mitt. Hey cute girl. Hey cute girl. Hi. I am up to step 60 and you know what? I don't want to know how many steps there are. It's a lot. But it's fun. It's going good. Well, I got my Boston butt browned on all four sides. I'm fixing to add um, stock that I had from some other piece of meat I cooked a few days ago. And uh, let it do its thing in the Instant Pot. I love that I can brown and then cook in the same pot. It's great. Alright, I'm up to step 73. Um... I had to improvise here with this bracket part, this L shape. Um, it is a rare to be in the dark orange color and I'd have to order from somebody in Denmark and then they don't ship to North Carolina. So I've just decided to do white and the fact that this little, it will not matter at all, the white on the side, but this white is actually supposed to be dark orange. I'm just gonna deal. And, um, I've, you know, I'm coming along pretty good. I stopped the sort because I need two more of these white bracket pieces to go here and here. You can see there's only four uh, studs and it's got to be eight. And I'm coming up short on finding two more. I really need two more to finish what's going on here. So we'll see. Um, I'll have to order some more. I think I need some more for the second floor anyway. It's just that I need two more to keep going without having to substitute color or something here. 